Uh, this looks like a good place as any. Alright, so today I'm going to try to collect some meteorite dust. You see, this last week has been the uh, Gemini meteor shower. And so thousands of tons of material have hit the earth in this last little while. On top of the 20 tons per day that hit the earth uh, naturally at any other time of the year. And it stands to reason that that material, the meteors hitting the atmosphere, burn up, leave some sort of dust, which can settle back down to the ground. Now, I have some nice clean snow that can, that I've been, which would make a good uh, collector for me. Now, it stands to reason that uh, if I find metallic particles in this snow, there's a good chance it actually came from space. It's cold out here. Now, it is possible that uh, some material has blown in from dirt, but really it hasn't been very windy. And uh, I did take a sample by putting a tray on top of that tower over there, and I did manage to find some metallic particles uh, coming from that, as well as uh, a sample of snow that I took from a seven-story building over in town. And I've taken some smaller samples from around here, and I get about the same amount wherever I take the sample from. <clears throat> and uh, today I want to try getting a larger sample so I can actually analyze it a little more. Yeah, look at it under a microscope and maybe even doing a chemical analysis to see if they're actually meteor meteorite particles. Anyway, got me a tub, a little scooper. I'm just going to scoop up a large quantity of snow off the surface, try to keep it as clean as I can, and then I'm going to melt it down and extract the uh, metallic particles with a very strong magnet. Okay, I collected the top uh, inch or so of snow in, in this area, uh, probably at least 20 square feet or so. I got me a tub of snow here. Unfortunately, I can already see that the snow is going to be pretty well contaminated with the uh, grass, seeds and stuff, because the snow isn't quite deep enough to cover the grass completely, so as I'm scooping along it knocks grass seeds off into it. But there shouldn't be very much dirt, and uh, it also should be pretty easy to separate metallic particles from the grass. So. I'm going to go ahead and seal this up and go uh, set her in my basement next to the fire, next to the furnace so it can melt. I'll see how much uh, metallic particles I get out of this. <clears throat> Let me just turn this off for a little while. And that'll be quiet. So here we are after about three days. Looks like I got uh, 10 gallons, eh, however much water I have here. And uh, as I predicted, it's got grass in it, but there's also quite a bit of other stuff. So, let's see how much of that is iron. Have this here uh, N52 neodymium magnet inside of a plastic bag. It's nickel plated so the plastic will help me uh, from getting any contamination from the magnet itself. And uh, I'm just going to run this around inside here. Ooh, water's still cold. Just run that around inside there, see if I can pick anything up. Whew, that's cold. Let's see what we got. All right, I can see see some material right now. I'm not sure what you're picking up in the camera. Probably nothing. Not very good resolution here. Yeah, I can definitely see some material stuck to this magnet right around on the edges. It's not a whole lot, but I didn't expect a whole lot. 
Ah, there you can see it a little bit in the camera there. See that dark line? Right there. With my eyes I can tell that it's a metallic particles. I'm gonna see if I can get this off there and put into a small vial so it'll be a little easier to see. Okay, I got the magnet out of the bag and I washed the material off into this bowl. I don't know if you can see it right there. I got the magnet underneath the bowl, by the way. But now, you can see that it's definitely moved around by the magnet. So I'm going to try to collect it all into one spot. Now I'm going to put it into this vial. I have a uh, pipette here. Okay, that obviously didn't work because the magnet's still attracting it. But I can use this to kind of herd the material together. It's an interesting trick. Just learned. Okay, take it off the magnet. There we are. probably went better. Well, I think I got some in there. May have spilled a little bit. Definitely got most of it. Hang on, let me set the camera down for a second. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, you can kind of see it in there. It's definitely clumping together because of the magnet. Oh, that's perfect, actually. If I move it kind of close to the magnet, I can see it. All right, let me set this up a little bit better so you can see it better. It's not easy as it looks, okay. There's the material, there we go. That's a good view, let's zoom in. All right, now I'm gonna rise it up so that the magnet's just above it, and there it goes. There, bring it down, up, there. So that shows that it's magnetic, very nice.